Hello Retro Fans. This is actually the third attempt to record this episode and uh, <laughs> initially I had planned to make a full length episode about um, many features of the Sidekick 64 but uh, I got a little bit lost in the topics and so I decided well before I go to work on something which I probably never finish then <laughs> let's make a shorty about at least one of the new features of the Sidekick 64 and um, that's a very interesting one because we will probably never have imagined that this is coming to the C64 and um, well it is a um, playback of this famous Amiga mod file system whatever we want to call this format and um, yeah how this possible on the C64 well indeed it is not really done by the C64 but uh, it is uh, some sort of um, in combination with additional hardware and uh, you have seen this at the title already we are talking about the Sidekick 64 and uh, to give you at least uh, a sneak preview of what I am talking about right now uh, let's jump into this And yes, indeed, this sound is coming out of the C64, I promise. <laughs> and as you can see on the screen, it is using two 8580 SIDs for the playback, uh, which are visible here right now. And uh, that whole thing works in a way that the Sidekick 64 is actually playing this uh, mod file, this four channel music uh, format. And uh, it is actually sampling the output uh, basically of two channels into one, um, well, let's call it sample. And this sample is uh, then feed into one of these uh, two sits and uh, two by two makes four channels. So every sit is playing two channels. And uh, you may imagine that this sound is not created by the oscillators or the filters of the um, SID chip, no, it is uh, just played back by using the, uh, well, let's say capability to play back digitized music. And um, yeah, therefore it sounds a bit, uh, let's say, lo-fi, it sounds a little bit crushed, crunchy, whatever you want to call this. It has a very, uh, let's say, 8-bit-ish style to it, but well, it's, it sounds pretty amazing. And indeed, if you are not uh, happy with this quality, it is possible to listen to the direct playback of this uh, mod player by uh, just going back to the browser and uh, starting that same thing with a shift and launching the mod file. And now uh, we're getting the same screen, but uh, it's now played back uh, using the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi which is actually the core component of the Sidekick 64 and the reason why we can't hear this right now is that I'm using a different HDMI input so we have to switch to this one here So that sounds indeed different compared to what we have heard um, by using the SID playback. And uh, how to get this to work? Well, that's actually quite easy if you know what you have to pay attention to. And um, actually, you need for 
let's say the best experience you need a C64 board with uh, two SID files on it, so a twin SID, stereo SID, dual SID setup. And uh, for the purpose of testing, I was picking the C64 Reloaded MK2 board, which is, in my opinion, not the best choice in combination with the Sidekick 64, because um, due to the uh, communication between the C64 system and the Raspberry Pi system, timing is really, really crucial. And the C64 Reloaded MK2 board is um, indeed a little bit different compared to a standard C64 board as you can see we now ended up with a blue screen <laughs> but I think that's uh, more an issue of my um, sidekick module here and um, yeah I recommend a standard board like well the 469 or something like this and I'm going to test this on a standard C64 board as well it was just um, for the sake of comfort, a little bit easier for me to use this system, because initially, uh, initially I was uh, trying to get the ARM2 SID to do this, and uh, it is working as well. That's actually not the issue, and you can do this with the FPGA SID, for example. So that's possible here too. But uh, I was interested in to get this uh, running on two original SIDs. And therefore, this board was a little bit uh, bigger to set up, so to say. <laughs> but um, I ended up having a couple of troubles. And the first thing is that uh, in order to configure the reloaded MK2 board, you need to connect this via USB to your PC. And uh, my Windows was refusing to accept this um, a USB connection because of driver certification issues, something like this. And um, so it took me a couple of attempts until I got this working uh, in conjunction with the terminal. And then you can set certain parameters which are required and they are actually that we set up a real, let's say C, um, C64, a real stereo setup. So we have the SID1 running at the base address D400 and the second SID is running at D420. So that's the uh, sort of common stereo twin dual setup second address. And then the Sidekick64 is able to detect those two SIDs and can play back the mod file format through the SIDs. And the issue I run into it with the ARM SID, uh, ARM2 SID is actually that the reloaded MK2 isn't really detecting um, the ARM SID as a SID. It is uh, saying there is a SID configuration issue. And I thought I set them up as um, 8580 replicas, whatever we want to call this. Uh, the Sidekick 64 just uh, kind of detected the 6581 SID and therefore the Digi playback is indeed a little bit um, different and it sounded a bit distorted to put it at this word so to say. And yeah that was actually one issue and uh, another issue was that probably the original power supply of the MK2 isn't really able to feed the board as well as the Raspberry Pi, the Sidekick 64. So I had to um, provide power to the Sidekick 64 via USB cable. And um, it is actually possible, but I never run into issues like this using a normal board, a normal C64 board with, uh, for example, an um, a modified C128 power supply and uh, therefore I will really go for this setup uh, for further testing and um, is it working perfectly? Mm, no, unfortunately not and I can provide you a uh, an example and this is out of the Black Sister collection very famous on the Amiga scene back then and this is the album and within this uh, we got the tune Street Jazz 
and I'm going to play back this via the HDMI output so we can hear it more clearly but it's going to be the very same issue on the SID playback. was a bit quiet at the beginning so I restarted the tune and uh, as you may have heard that the voice sounds a little bit uh, distorted, scrambled, whatever we want to call this and originally if you play back this tune on an Amiga for example or on any mod playback capable player on whatever Android, Windows, Apple, I don't know then it will indeed sound differently so there is some work left for this uh, sidekick 64 mod play but it is indeed an astonishing feature i really love it and if you do not have an amiga around and want just to listen to a few mod files then nothing is easier than to put them on your sd card insert in your sidekick 64 and get that whole thing running it's really really cool and um, yeah i will keep you up to date with the progress of this and i really want to share this unique and cool feature i thought i had planned to do even more but uh, i will probably work on the other uh, features of the sidekick 64 which came with this update and uh, i will cover some of the already existing existing ones as well so anyway um, if you want me to dig into something specifically, then feel free to express yourself in the comment section. I'm really looking forward to what you think, especially about this feature here as well. And um, yeah, and as usual, thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for doing all those YouTube <laughs> voodoo things. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, join the channel membership, spread the news around the world, whatever is required. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, see you for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.